Welcome back fellows. Pivot table. Pivot tables are not as hard as you think. After you walk through with me today, you will know how quickly you can create one. So today we are going to break the norms and we're going to make a pivot table. First pivot table for ourselves. If you have never created a pivot table, take it easy. Today we are going to take that. It's not that difficult at all. It only matters how you understand the logic. Once you do that, trust me, you will be creative as hell and you will see yourself. So I will start with demonstrating how it works um, on the screen first. What's a pivot table on the first place? In its most basic form, a pivot table takes data and summarizes it so you can make sense of it all without typing any formulas, anything. So this is the data on the left hand side of your screen. I've taken some examples um, of, of some people like buyers, John, uh, Melina, Jackie, some types of, 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 um, of descriptions uh, of the materials like fuel, food, sports, books, etc., etc. And then they have amounts. Um, and, and you can see on the right hand side, we have created a pivot table which summarizes actually the whole situation for us so that's that's how it will eventually get us uh, well we'll start making pivots so um, that was a very uh, simple example um, here is more sophisticated one this one shows the spending amount broken down by the type of purchase and by buyer a little bit more uh, sophisticated table that you see on your screen um, right now. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so um, this is another example. I will I will share one more example of pivot table. Now you can see the data remains the same in all these uh, examples. The first one simple data, Sang second one same data, and now the third one. There are pivot charts also which are um, a more visual way to summarize and make sense of your data we won't be covering these charts in our tutorial today uh, but for now just know that that is also possible to do the pivot chart summarizes the visual data and that is appearing on your screen so once you know how to create pivot table you can easily create um, pivot charts as well now, these are a few examples that you have, uh, have seen uh, yourself. So let's, let's, um, let's back up. The first step to making a good pivot table is to make sure that the data um, is in good shape. So make sure that um, you do um, make like um, it clear through these steps, like, like name your columns, there's a name on the column, it must have a name and make sure that there is no duplicate row or blank cells, etc., etc. This, this is what you must do to start with. This is your basic step that you must do. Something else to keep in mind is um, that lots of people use the word column, um, but to a pivot table, a column is a field itself. Um, so try to remember this is um, as, as you're progressing. <clears throat> Why the word field? It's just a traditional term um, used when working with data and database applications. So the pivot table menus and buttons use the word field a lot. So if you get used to it now, it will make things easier for you while you make your pivot tables. This is this is basic understanding. Um, let's let's start focusing on one of the fields now. Um, the amount field is probably the most um, important. Won't it be great if uh, if it was summed up, for example? So, on the next phase, you see, we summed up the amount of pivot table. Really? Yes, we did. The sum of amount and and eight thirty four makes up a small uh, pivot table that totals up the amount of the field. This is a very, very simple um, sum example. Um, why make such a small pivot table, let's say? Because it emphasizes the concept of a pivot table value field. If one of the fields 
in your data contains numeric value, a pivot table can total it up. When it does this, it's called pivot table value field. So you can see sum is a value field. Stay calm, we'll make our own value fields as well, and you will go through this. So take it easy and try to understand what I'm explaining here. Pivot tables start getting interesting when you add conditions to that, that divide or break down the value field. Um, in this case, we added a new condition of buyer to divide the value field. Now you can see the 834 has been divided into multiple other categories. That is one way of looking at it. Um, and, and another way, here's another version of the pivot table. But this time we added the condition of type to see how much we spent on each of uh, the type of purchase. So instead of names or the buyers, you can see different types being um, summed up into total E834. Now, um, another pivot table term, the condition we have added so far are called pivot table row fields. In these examples, the row field breaks down or divides um, the value field, as you can see on the screen. So let's let's review it. Uh, you will learn how to actually make a pivot table in a few moments, but let's review the concept we have went through. So, so first, we must have a good data. Then we must have a field, row field to break down, and then we must have a value as well. This is I'm starting, starting to gear up, but we will make more examples and variations as well. So when we create a pivot table, in a moment, you will see the pivot table field list that you see here. It's not just a list though, it's more like a panel um, at, at the top. You will always see on the right hand side of yours um, and it presents the data. Excel's data will look like this as, as before and your fields will be converted into this area. So you will see it um, very shortly how it is demonstrated. Um, you can, um, at, at this moment, don't do this, but in a couple of steps, you will work with a pair table. So you will see that the first thing you will do is create a value field. So move the amount to the values as you see, uh, is dragged down. So you can drag and drop in this as well. Um, if, uh, you are ever unsure how to start a pivot table, think about creating a value field first, simple as that. This is one of the tips that, that always helps people to understand how it works. So the fields that are best for the value field are the ones with numeric amount. In this example, amount is the best one. This is a value field. The other value fields uh, can be date, um, buyer type, don't contain numeric values. So they aren't the best ones to use in the value field here. So date, buyer type, I'm not using them here, but the amount one, that, that, that makes most sense in this case. So after you drag and drop um, the field and the values, it will create a sum. Um, it, it, sum of amount will appear. So sum of this amount will appear here um, in the bottom of your pivot table field list. Sometimes Excel does not have room to show full names, which is really sum of amount here. Um, so you can create your sum of amount like this. This was the one that we that we saw at the start. So um, I will just clear this part before we further uh, go into this detail. So then you will want uh, a condition in the field. So you can put in buyer, for example, as a condition here. And once the buyer field is in the condition, you can see that uh, there is a proper pivot table that you can easily see here. Um, here you go. The steps that you have to perform. Now you have a data. You have to create a pivot table. The first thing is you have to click on one of these uh, fields. So I click here in one of the fields. This is a table. And if you don't have a data table, just select the data you have and control T. You can make it a table. 
so once you have a table here you click anywhere in the table and the field and you go insert pivot table that's it but before you go for that remember that um, the pivot will be taken into a new field a new area where the data is here your table will be created or pivot table will be created in another tab a new tab so click on the pivot table this is asking for the data you select the data and you click OK there we go now you have your new tab as I said created the amounts everything is here the months are here all the fields are here and you simply now have to click on the amount as I said now your pivot is created drag into to the values you remember I explained some of values will be created you can see your dollars value here now I will click the buyers the buyers are here you have your pivot table ready you can also remove the buyers you can drag the types here just drag and drop and your data is ready here fellows I hope you enjoyed creating uh, this table you learned you play with it and do share your comments in the comments section of this uh, presentation so that others can also learn from your experience and also demonstrate if you um, had an experience with your data that you couldn't sort out and you have done that it's worth sharing with everyone on this poll fellows do experiment and i do hope you enjoyed creating your very first pivot table stay in touch stay safe and take care of yourself don't forget to subscribe to the channel i look forward to see you in our next video till then take very good care of yourself bye bye